lovely to be together today for our Shengzhen weekly webinar available for people all across the world. Before we dive into a practice today, we do have an upcoming event with Teacher Lee, the 18-day meditation event that he did last year is happening again this year. So 18 days in a row. And last year we had over 400 register. We had over 250 live each day, people all across the world. And it got some amazing, wonderful feedback. So it's happening again this year, December 1st through 18th. So I will have that button up. So in case you have not yet registered for that and you would like to find out more information, we're going today to begin our practice standing. So go ahead and find a comfortable standing position. And we will begin with the Zhang Tian movement. Ready, blow. Left hand up, connecting with the heavens and down, connecting with the earth, thumbs join, merging with the universe. In the beginning of practice, not in a rush to get to the movements first, getting into the Shengzhen state or the heart state. In order to get into this state, relax your body. Setting aside the worries or concerns of your day and of life, really arrive into your body, into this moment in time. and open. The feeling can be as if the pores on the skin are opening. And going deeper, the feeling is as if the cells, the space between the cells is getting bigger and expanding to open for more space, more area for chi and energy to flow.
and an opening of the heart. The feeling is like the heart becomes open, ready to receive, very quiet. And the mind Open the mind and the brain, the space between the cells in the brain, the brain cells. So far we've relaxed and opened, now we connect. Connect beyond your body. Connect with the earth. With the core of the earth, deep into the core. The essence of the qualities of the earth, grounded and stable. nurturing life and life force. And connect with humanity, connect with the essence of what it means to be human as if there is one big human family and connect with the universe, connect with the heavens, connect with the vastness of all that is. And the essence, the essence of the universe and an energy of love from the universe. Connecting with that love energy. Then from this place, feeling this relaxed, open and connected, then begin the movements. Gently and softly open your eyes. We'll begin with the movement, boat rowing in the stream of air. Ready, begin. One, two, one, two, Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, continue. This is a soft and gentle movement. The heart follows the mind. Cheerful thoughts are wandering through the mind.
You are carefree and light. As if a newborn child having never suffered She surrounds the body. And enters through the five energy gateways, the top, the crown of the head, called the Bai Hui. The centers of the palms of the hands, called the Lao Gong. And the centers of the soles of the feet, called the Yong Chuan. Chi surrounding the body, entering through the five gateways. As you go deeper with this movement, open not just the five energy gateways, but all of the cells, all of the skin pores, that chi surrounding the body, entering through the skin pores. And going to the Dan Tian. To the center of the pelvis. Continue doing the movement. I'll demonstrate from the side as you continue. This is boat rowing in the stream of air. The feeling is soft and light, like you're floating or flying through the air. It's joyful, smiling. Sometimes in life, it can feel like you're having to hurry or rush or get everything done. And in this practice, the feeling is there's nowhere to be, nothing that needs to get done. The feeling is 
you can take your time. We're not trying to achieve anything in particular. We're not trying to get through a whole form. We're not trying to do different or new movements. That's not the point. The point is to settle in, go deep. Get into the feeling of no worries, no concerns, like you're on vacation, just enjoying very leisurely, slow and juicy movement that feels so good. to just relax into the mood. The essence of Shenzhen is about the state not the movements and getting through them. Just one movement is enough. We can do one movement for a long time and find the whole essence of Shenzhen. For some, if you're getting a little bit tired, you can make the movement smaller, like this. Two, one, two, but the feeling, one is still big, two, if the physical movement gets small, make sure the feeling stays like you're reaching way out into the universe, you're floating, you're flying, you're bringing chi from the universe, into your body, into your dantian. Same feeling, small or big. Last few times, really drop in and relax into this movement. Last one slow. And finish. Rest. Close your eyes. Bring your attention, your awareness, 
to the Don Tian. It's below the belly button, a couple inches in the center of the body. If it helps, you can put a finger over that area. And as you bring your awareness to the Don Tian, notice and feel into the energy in your whole body settling. Balancing. And then relax. In this time of year, we're dealing with transition. We're moving from a warmer, in most places, a warmer time of year to a closer time of year, at least on the, the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere, it, it may be the opposite. And this transition period of moving from one dramatically different weather, the days had been longer and they're getting shorter in the northern hemisphere. So the amount of light is becoming less, the warmth is becoming less, it's getting more cold, the trees are dropping their leaves, the animals are preparing some of them for hibernation or for the winter. It can be a little bit more challenging for the animals. This transition time is also metaphorically important internally for us. As humans, we transition and transition often is a time where it's challenging for people too. We know that in the change of season, as it moves to winter, people get sick a little bit easier in that transition. And there's, there's a, a sense of, of an adaptability and an ability to adapt to change, to be able to have change be an opportunity for learning and growth for acceptance and for love, or change can be a real struggle and challenge and put people into a darker place, a harder place. So I wanna explore a little deeper the Zhang Tian movement because the Zhang Tian movement is how we transition from whatever's happening in life to focus within the practice. The Zhang Tian movement creates a container for practice. We open with the Zhang Tian movement in the beginning to help to set aside everything about life that might be distracting from the practice and to really arrive into a main focus for practice. And then we do the Zhang Tian movement again at the end in order to close that container, in order to express gratitude for having done the practice and to help transition back into daily life. So the Zhang Tian movement is a transitional movement. When life, we're dealing with a transition of the changing season, or maybe for some people, it's dealing with a change in a job or a change in a relationship or a change, there are changes and transitions that happen during life. And those changes and transitions can be elegant or can be a big struggle. And the Zhang Tian movement in the practice of Sheng Zhen represents a transition into the practice that's using a ritual 
this Zhong Tian movement is like a like a small ceremony or a ritual to help transition into the focused practice and then at the end to transition from the practice back into the life experience that's that's outside of the practice. And the goal is really to begin to, as Sheng Jin, cultivate an ability to maintain a sense of love, even in daily life. But there's a clear distinction between when doing Sheng Jin practice and then when living life and doing loving things in life. That's more the Sheng Jin spirit. We're living a Sheng Jin life. So there's the Sheng Jin practice, and then there's applying that Sheng Jin essence into life. So let's go again with the Zhong Tian movement. And what really helps with this small ceremony, this transition, is to understand the meaning. And as much as I've practiced for years and years and done the Zhong Tian movement so many times, whenever I go deeper with the Zhong Tian movement, I learn and understand more and I feel that that transition can become and has become more powerful for me over time when I really pay attention to it. It's easy to say, oh, I've already done that, or it's a simple thing, or we do that all the time and not pay a lot of attention to something like the Zhong Tian movement. But when we dive in and we go deep with the Zhong Tian movement, it in and of itself is so rich. And just the Zhong Tian movement without any other movements is already so powerful. The representation of the Zhong Tian movement, when we cup the hands and blow, the breath between the hands, the breath is our life force. And that life force energy is then used as the left hand goes up to cleanse the face and clean the face to cleanse and clean the body as the hand goes down. Just like in the morning, you might take a shower to cleanse and clean your body for the day, or you might take a bath. This is an energetic cleansing, utilizing your breath and your intention so you can enter practice fresh, clean the past, clean the other days off, and you're fresh and renewed. So if you were out, in the dirt, it's like you showered and you got clean. So energetically, if there was some stuff in your life that was a little bit off or challenging, you're entering practice fresh and clean. So that's one of the meanings. There are multiple meanings, but let's practice just with that meaning of cleansing the face, cleansing the body, and really feeling what does that cleansing feel like? And can that cleansing feeling go deeper? Just like a shower or a bath that goes deeper and really feels like it gets you nice and, and, and clean and feeling refreshed. So Zhang Tian movement together with the meaning of cleansing. Ready. Blow. Left hand up, feeling that cleansing of the face. Down, that cleansing of the whole body. Washing away any worries or concerns of life. any things that happened in your day, setting those aside so you can enter the practice refreshed, renewed. And ask yourself, how deeply am I able 
to set aside the past and to arrive into a clear focus. on the practice. Again, the Zhongtian movement, that same meaning, ready, blow, cleansing the face, cleansing the body, Shifting the awareness and focus to the Shengjin state, to the body, to the present moment in time. Again, ready, blow. Left hand up, cleansing the face. Down, cleansing the entire body. Thumbs joining, shifting focus. Arriving. Last time with this meaning, Zhang Tian movement, ready, blow, cleansing the face, cleansing the body, setting aside worries and concerns of life, and arriving into your body into this moment in time, the clear focus. And relax. So that's one of the meanings for the Zhongtian movement. The Zhongtian movement actually has multiple meanings. In addition to cleansing, entering practice fresh, and focused, there's another meaning. The other meaning is about connecting. Purification is important, and, and those who have been studying with Teacher Lee for a long time knows he talks a lot about purification, cultivation, and connection. Purification is that cleansing, purifying, getting into that practice fresh and clean and ready to focus. Connection is about connecting with the heavens, connecting with the earth, merging with the universe. So as the, the left hand goes up, left in the, in the ancient Chinese medicine system and in Shenzhen, left represents yang. And yang 
has to do with a connection with the heavens, a connection with a sense of the subtle, a sense of of some kind of a, a higher a higher nature and energy that that's less of it's in the Chinese system often the earth represents yin and heaven represents yang and yin and yang are a deep conversation I'm not going to go into the depth about other than to say that that yang is associated with up in the heavens yin is associated with down in the earth yang is associated with the more subtle less substance yin is associated with the more dense and and more substance and yang has a sense of there being uh, an expansiveness and yin has a sense of there being uh, a condensing and so yin and yang are important equally important one isn't more important than the other it's very important to have a balance between yin and yang any imbalance between yin and yang is a problem for health and so sometimes people think about yang and men yin and women but men have yin and yang balance women have yin and yang balance it looks a little different for each but yin and yang must be in balance for any human being or else there's illness there's sickness so the meaning of connecting the connecting is this feeling if the left hand goes up it's that sense of that the yang nature of who you are is connecting with the heavens and connecting with a sense of of an a more subtle world an energetic world and as the right hand goes down that's the the feeling of connecting and especially as the left hand also comes down there's this feeling of connecting with the earth and it's connecting both with the physical earth and the feeling of being on the earth and the qualities of the earth that life force powerful nurturing energy that's given birth to life so as we go left hand up we're connecting with the heavens and feeling that kind of a young expansive connecting way out and then yin we're connecting deep into the earth we're connecting into that quality of stability and groundedness and then as the thumbs join the feeling is and the intention is merging with the entire universe like everything is becoming one returning to one there's this sense of being connected with everything and the essence of the universe is that sense of an energy a universal energy of love that's not affected by any problem or stress or issue in your life the sense of a universal love the sense of a universal energy of love that is perfectly loving no matter what perfectly forgiving perfectly caring and profoundly always whole always complete so the second meaning of the Zhang Tian movement not only are we connecting with that sense of purification and cleansing but we're also connecting with the heavens connecting with the earth merging with the universe and that's that getting into that shengjian state where we're connected with something much bigger than daily life it might be about my thoughts my emotions my struggles what's going on in my life we want to shift a transition to I am connected with the heavens connected with the earth merged with the universe I've set aside all those life concerns I've arrived into this feeling this feeling of 
open heart, open mind, connected with everything, connected with love energy from the universe, very grounded and connected with the earth. And that feeling, that shengjin state, that heart state, then when we move into the practice, it becomes so much more powerful. So Zhongtian movement with that second meaning. Ready, blow. Connecting with the heavens as the left hand goes up. Take your time, feel that connection, or imagine it, or visualize it, however works for you. And then left hand down, connecting with the earth. Deep into the core of the earth. Connecting with the qualities of stability and groundedness, powerful life force nurturing energy. Thumbs touching, merging with the universe, becoming one with everything. connecting with that universal love energy. Again, Zhong Tian movement with that second meaning, ready, blow. Connecting with the heavens. Connecting with the earth. Merging with the universe. Again, ready, blow, connecting with the heavens, connecting with the earth, and merging the universe. Now, in a moment, we're going to do the Zhong Tian movement with both meanings together. But first, the universe trembles. Feet flat. Bouncing.
Lifting your heels and swinging your arms. slowly come to a stop. Donkin movement again, both meanings, cleansing, face cleansing the body and connecting with the heavens, connecting with the earth, merging with the universe. Ready, blow, left hand up, cleansing the face and connecting with the heavens. Down, cleansing the body. Connecting with the earth. Thumbs join. Setting aside worries and concerns of life arriving into your body and merging with the universe. Again, with both meanings, ready, blow. Left hand up, cleansing your face, connecting with the heavens. Down, cleansing your body, connecting with the earth. Thumbs join. Setting aside worries and concerns. And merging with the universe. Last time, practicing the Zhong Tian movement with both meanings. Ready, blow. Cleansing the face. The left hand goes up and connecting with the heavens. Left hand goes down, cleansing the body and connecting with the earth. Thumbs join, merging with the entire universe. Worries and concerns set aside.
connecting with that universal love energy. And then go ahead and rest. Take a seat, get a drink of water. Also, the 18 day retreat is coming up and I'm going to put that link in the top of the chat and so the 18 day virtual meditation series and Again, that's 18 days in a row. It starts December 1st, December 1st through 18th. The time will be three hours earlier than this webinar starts is when that one's going to start. But we'll also have the replay. So if you can't make the live every day, you can do it via the replays. Uh, I see Sid had asked if the virtual meditation will be primarily sitting or including moving both. It, it will be primarily the focus is the Union of Three Hearts sitting meditation with some movement and moving meditation as well. So in general, uh, Teacher Lee tends to, when he teaches sitting meditation, add some movements in so people aren't always only sitting. They get a little bit of movement in. The primary focus will be the sitting meditation for this 18 day uh, retreat. So it's all virtual, 18 days in a row, one hour per day. You can attend live or via replay and you'll have the replays through the end of the year. So if you miss some, you can also catch up. If you want the replays even longer than the end of the year, there's an opportunity to donate monthly to Shengzhen to extend the replays into next year as well. So to summarize for today, we talked about the Zhong Tian movement. And although the Zhong Tian movement is used to open and close a Shengzhen practice as its main and traditional use, I'd like to invite the opportunity for the Shengzhen, for the Zhong Tian movement to be its own small practice. Because a lot of times people think, oh, I'm practicing this Shengzhen form. I'm practicing healing stage one. And I'm going to do the Zhang Tian movement to open. And then I'm going to do the practice. And I'm going to do the Zhang Tian movement to close. And the Zhang Tian movement is great for that purpose. And I want to also invite that the Zhang Tian movement can be its own practice. For example, prior to having any kind of uh, spiritual something that you're doing, let's say it's really, you really love and enjoy taking a bath. You could do the Zhang Tian movement to transition into that space of taking a bath in the Shengzhen state, in the heart state. And then you could do the Zhang Tian movement to finish and have a different experience of that. Some people might even use the Zhang Tian movement to open their day. And then at the end, the Zhang Tian movement again to, to close their day with gratitude. You could have the Zhang Tian movement be its own practice that you could use together with a, a loved one as uh, something to open a conversation or a, or a meal. And so know that the Zhang Tian movement has in and of itself, without any other movements, a lot of potential, a lot of power as you go deeper with the Zhang Tian movement. 
then you can allow for that to become already its own practice. Like before you do any movements, already you're practicing by doing the Zhongtian movement, getting into state. And then if you do movements, great, that's even deeper practice. But know that just the Zhongtian movement in and of itself already has a lot of power, a lot of potential, and it's easy to do. It's quick to do. It can be done on the go. It can be done at the airport. It can be done in places where you're feeling like you want to simply have that experience of a transitional ceremony. So I invite you to expand your relationship to the Zhongtian movement and to deepen that experience.